guys, Jeremy here with Simple Little Life. What I have right here is the GWIC G2 Pro 30 watt fiber laser. GWIC sent this to me to do some videos on. And so this first video, I just wanna give you a quick introduction into this machine. And I would like to know what specifically you would like to know about this. What type of materials it can engrave, different types of engraving, color engraving. This thing will do color engraving on stainless steel. I'm waiting for some material to come in to test that on. But if you were looking to get a laser, and this was one on your mind, what are the specific questions that you would like to know about it? If you let me know in the comments, I will do some follow-up videos and I'll address those. But first, let's take a quick look. So this is an incredibly portable and lightweight laser. This is the main unit right here, generates the laser. These fiber optic cables come around here, nicely bundled up, and then this is like the main engraving head. Again, this is very lightweight. These two need to stay together because they're connected. We also have a little USB coming in here, bringing power for the tower. Uh, this particular one is a 150 by 150 millimeter working area. They do have one slightly smaller, which has a different lens in it that's 110 by 110. Now, simple, turn this thing on, you push this button for your laser power. To focus it, what you'll do is you'll measure your material thickness. Say if I had something like this, which is eight millimeters. I'll come over here to this scale and use this button. Very nice light touch buttons. And I just lower this down to eight millimeters. And once it's there, I know I'm in focus. Another means of focusing is we've got these two laser dots and you just raise and lower it until they're touching. And that actually works fairly well. I've used just that and it is close enough when you pay attention that you'll get a good decent engrave on there. There's a little look at the actual lens. And this unit all in all is just really impressive. Now GWIC does have their own software to operate this. It's called Glasser or G Laser. And I have downloaded it to my computer and it is, it works. It's a great place to start, but it is a little bit limited, especially compared to Lightburn, which is what I'm actually using to run this. They also have their own mobile apps for iOS and Android, and I have used this on my iPad. When you're doing that, you can go to your Wi-Fi settings. You'll find a Wi-Fi network that's named your machine. You join that, and you can wirelessly send images, do text, whatever, and you can literally just use your phone or your iPad and run this laser, which is really cool. But again, I like the Lightburn. Now I'm a newbie at Lightburn and it is quite a complex program. I mean, there are so many different menu options and this was something that I've had to spend a lot of time learning. But when you pair that with a machine like this, it is absolutely amazing the capabilities that this thing has. You know, when we get into 30 watt fiber lasers, that's, to me, that's going outside of the bounds of a little consumer grade type laser engraving machine. Now, the one thing about fiber lasers is that they do not mark very well on wood. They mark fantastic on metals, things like aluminum, steel, stainless, brass, copper. They mark on leather very well, but wood, not so much. Now, the main reason I use lasers is to mark my maker's mark on knives and then also just to customize everything I own. Once you get a laser that's easy to use and fast, it's amazing, like, even my animals, just kidding, they don't, they don't. No, everything I have gets laser etched, like my calipers. Hey, I wanna etch my calipers. Okay, we got them etched. Monopods, yep, etching that too. But one thing, the previous lasers I've had, they've never been powerful enough to actually do deep engravings. This one is. So I went to Amazon, I picked up some blank brass coins and I wanted to make a challenge coin. And I did. That was about a 15 minute etch and it came out so clean. I had to do a little testing. Here's the very first one I did. Just wasn't happy with the service finish. The second one, significant improvement. That's like 15 minutes and I've got a challenge coin. One really interesting thing and very useful in Lightburn is that you can set up these different grids. And so whatever material you're engraving on, if you'd like to know how dark or light it's gonna be, or even different parts of the engrave, you could change the, the color, the shade. They have these little grids that you can customize. I did one here that was for frequency and power. And so essentially it's 10 rows of frequency from 10 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz, and then 10% power, 40% power, 70% power, and 100% power. And when you run these tests, it puts them in a very nice grid that you can use to decide 
which settings you want to use for your actual engrave. That to me alone is well worth buying yourself a seat of light burn. And these things, apparently, I've never actually done this myself, but I've seen people do color engraves. I saw a guy on stainless steel do an American flag. So the white was the silver of the steel, the red he actually got a red engrave on, and the blue he actually got a blue engrave. You think about that, you can customize knives now with colors. They can do like reds, yellows, golds, browns, blues, purples. So what I'd like to know in this video, if you were looking at buying this laser specifically, what are the questions you would like answered? Anything you'd like to know about this, leave it in the comments below and I will do some follow-up videos so I can answer those to help you make a very informed decision if this is gonna be a tool that would be useful for you. Now, GWIC sent me this for free and I am obligated to do some videos for it, but I can talk about this however I want. And I don't get paid for this, but they did give a coupon code, and that is SIMPLE800 that will get you $200 off of this unit. I do believe that right now this thing is going for $2,200 for the 150 by 150 area version. The 110 millimeter by 110 millimeter working area is a little bit cheaper. I'm not exactly sure on the price, but link down in the description below, check that out and use the code. I don't know for sure if it's working right now with all their Black Friday sales, but there are some good sales. And when you look at the price jump from say like a smaller blue diode slash infrared laser, the price increase to getting something like this, that percentage is not nearly in relation to the capability when it comes to engraving on metal. This is a completely different machine than a two watt infrared laser. Those are great, I have nothing wrong with them. That's, I still have them, I still use them, and they do a fantastic job putting marks on metal, but this thing will actually cut and eat the metal away. When I see this thing operating and there's actually sparks flying off of the steel, <laughs> Wow, that gets exciting. One quick note is that these things do create a lot of off gas. When I was doing these coins, it smelled like I was smelting in here because I'm literally vaporizing, I'm melting the steel away. And so PPE is important, good ventilation is important. For that reason, I'm probably gonna build a dedicated cart for this so that I can wheel it around the shop. If it's not too cold outside, I could take it outside if I'm gonna do a lot of deep engravings. Like my whole shop smelled like brass after doing these three engravings. So just something to keep in mind. This isn't something you necessarily wanna throw in your bedroom and start making challenge coins with because that's just not a good idea. Anyways, if you have any questions, comments, what you'd like to know, again, leave them in the description below. Thank you, GWIC, for sending this to me and thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Cheers.